Well, hello there, boo boo. <laughs> How are you, honey? I know. Uh, it's, um, I haven't eaten much today, so this is life to me right now. <laughs> mm. No, the show is not over. It's just beginning. Come on in. Baby, I am so glad that you are here with me on another Friday night. We're about to be eating good in the hood. And I'm telling you, we um, <laughs> tonight. So tonight's recipe was born out of not being able to get to my regular store. Um, but make no mistake now. Okay. We don't be sleeping on Aldi around here. Mm -mm, no, because for my good, fresh, cheap fruits and vegetables, Aldi's got it. They've got it. So tonight um, come, comes a recipe that was born out of struggle, out of pain, um, out of little money. <laughs> And tonight, honey, is a seafood dinner, all from Aldi, tonight for under $25. Can you dig it? Yes? Yes? Come on. Let's do it. Let folks know that we about to be eating good in the hood right now. Now, if it looks like my eyes are off, okay, it's because I, I've got a screen here and I've got a screen there also. Also. Oh. Child. Stuff is happening. I think that was my mom trying to start the video, trying to start the sound. Um, but y'all, <laughs> it's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. Thank you so much for being here with me. I think I got a little lettuce in my teeth right now, but um, the show is going on. So, yes, tonight we are making a seafood dinner with stuff I got from Aldi for under $25 and it can feed you and your boo tonight. Okay. So like I said, I'm looking here and I'm looking here because I've got Carla Renee's screen from Facebook going here and I've got Sugar Pearl screen going here. So um, guys, if you're coming on, please go ahead and share the video. Really, it means a lot. It, it really means a lot that you share the content. So go ahead, let folks know that we're eating good in the hood. It's Sugar Pearl Studio Kitchen Live. The website is sugarpearlsonline.com. YouTube is Sugar Pearls. And Instagram is sugarpearls underscore online. What do you say? What are you saying? We get cooking good looking. Hmm. Hey, boo. Oh, hey, baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Bridget. <laughs> Hey, Lakeisha. Oh, thank you, honey. Hi, Sheena. Guys, so um, it has been a pretty freaking, hey, Uncle Fred. <laughs> it's been a pretty amazing week. So this week, um, I opened it up. If you haven't been there, go there to gardenspices.org. Gardenspices.org. And um, Sugar Pearls is in there, girl. Yeah, Sugar Pearls is in Garden Spices Magazine. Thank you so much, Garden Spices, for um, recognizing all the good food that we're trying to do here. Now, when you go to GardenSpices.org, um, you will see my um, stuffed salmon Yes, so there's a video for that, and you. I also included the full recipe for the stuffed salmon. So might be a good idea for you to just go ahead and head on over to Garden Spices. Thank you so much, Mama G. Thank you, everybody at Garden Spices. Thank you for um, acknowledging Sugar Pearls. It means so very much to me. And... Um, I'm, I'm ready for the ride, honey. There is more to come. 
there is more to come. So thank you guys for hanging in there with Sugar Pearls. Let's go ahead and get eating, okay? Now, I've got Carla Renee's screen going here. Hey, y'all. Hey. And I've got Sugar Pearls going here. Hey, boo. Hey. Okay? So if you're on either one of my Facebook pages, Carla Renee or Sugar Pearls, you can just go ahead and share the video right now. When it comes to um, content and video and stuff that we're putting out there, honey, I need for you to go ahead and share it. Share it, share it, share it right now. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to get started. So this Aldi seafood dinner under $25, really. Okay, so I bought, I'm going to tell you what I did. I bought jumbo scallops yes they were frozen okay don't drip don't drip just throw them out just throw them out okay jumbo scallops from aldi now they were in the frozen section it's ten dollars a bag okay but these are the jumbo scallops aren't they big from aldi when you thaw them out so when i thaw my and then i got the jumbo which really don't look so jumbo shrimp um for how much did i pay for this bag six dollars okay so that's sixteen dollars in the bowl um what i'm gonna do is make like a pasta dish with it now it's not gonna be your regular pasta like spaghetti pasta or um a wide noodle or something like that what i'm going to be using is a little bit of couscous so let me show you the couscous couscous hey sugar pearls folks there's your couscous and there's your couscous. See, they're just little pearls. So couscous, um, when you're looking at it, um, I don't know, you may mistake it for a really, really short, short, short grain rice, but it's not. Uh, couscous is actually pasta. It's a pasta, okay? But it's a really, really small, they're just these little fine balls, see? That's it. Okay. And what I've got, I've got some water boiling. I had water bo boiling and then I took it off. So, uh, for your couscous, it's so simple. So simple. I, you know, I'm always craving like rice and starch and stuff like that, but I know I can't do it like I used to. So I got to back up. Right. So for the couscous, it comes like that, and usually in a bag or a box. Add about uh, one and one fourth cup. Start with a with a cup first of water. Get it boiling. Once it comes to a boil, take it off the heat. And the way that you prepare this couscous is only about a dollar a box. You just pour it in, just like that. Okay. So now that the couscous is in there, we're going to leave it on our warm stove and we're going to cover it. That's all you're going to do to your couscous. Leave it there. Don't add anything to it. Now it came with, let me show you, it came with a little spice packet. This was like a roasted garlic and olive oil. I'm kind of funny about using other people's spices and stuff. Like I'm going to add my own flavor. So I'm not going to add this right now we'll taste it later on but let's get the couscous um cooked up and this is this is how you cook it um you can do it in the microwave i'm just doing mine on the stove thank you so much honey <laughs> for sharing um and just let it kind of swell up so leave it covered let it swell and then when it's done we're gonna fluff it like we do rice okay so we'll fluff it with a little fork there okay so for our seafood we got jumbo shrimp and we've got scallops people yeah this came from aldi have you ever been to go in the little frozen section with the vegetables and the seafood and stuff is you'll see the bag of scallops they're like 9.99 and the jumbo shrimp okay six dollars okay sixteen dollars seventeen dollars was the uh couscous and what i'm going to add to my so i'm going to make like a little um seafood 
salad, kind of. Okay, so the salad, um, I'm going to add this. So this is an ancho chili. So this ancho chili, um, it's ancho once. This was also like a dollar and 50 cents out of Aldi, okay? So just go to the Hispanic food section. You'll see this. And I got some ancho. So the ancho chili is just a poblano pepper. That's it. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six ancho chilies in here. I'm not going to use all of that. Um, when usually when they have um, when you have ancho chilies, it's because you're going to use it to make like a mole sauce or something like that for a Mexican dish. I'm not. I'm simply going to cut it, gut it slice it so let's let's take a look at what it so when we take the stem off of the ancho chili let's let's look inside let's use a Ooh, oh that was neat all the seeds just fell out okay all your seeds all your seeds there you go okay so just open that up now, if you're doing this and you want to um, put it in some hot water for a couple of seconds, then you could do that. I'm just going to slice it up because it's going to go in our, we're going to kind of cook the seafood off. A little heat, a little oil, and just kind of saute them. And uh, when we cut up, I just did one of the ancho chili. Okay, and so just one. And it will, it's not super spicy. Every now and then, one of them can have a kick, so be careful. Um, but make sure you pull the seeds out if you don't want it too hot like I did. Okay, so I pull the seeds out in the membrane um, so that it's not super duper hot, but you know, it's got a got a little smoky kick to it with the um, ancho chili. Uh, there are some milk I'm going to put in my salad in just a little bit. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is saute some veggies. You know I gotta have veggies, honey. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So with just a little of my homemade seasoned oil, I'm going to add a shallow amount of that to my pan. And then we're going to get things sauteed. Okay. So this is what I've got. So for my saute, I've got... Um, asparagus so i want some asparagus tips in my salad i've got uh green onions and i've got some what's that shallots okay so i've got shallots green onions and garlic and a little parsley okay so all we're gonna do is just i'm gonna take some of this asparagus out and get those tips off. All right, so tip there. There. Nice. Ooh, I love this, especially. I don't normally um cut my asparagus down, but, you know, when you're eating it like this and, you know, just like a salad style, it's nice to have pieces of asparagus kind of floating about and it's good for you so so there that's enough for me <laughs> okay so now uh let's crank that up, 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 up and oh i've got some tomatoes here too so in our seafood salad that we're making we're gonna put a little oh yeah that's the couscous is already now i'm leaving it covered um and you're gonna see just how they cooked up so tomatoes 
asparagus. This salad is going to be so pretty and full of color. I've only got like a little bit of pasta because I'm using like the itty bitty couscous pearls. Um, so, you know, if, if you ever think about doing this dish, then consider doing it um, instead of like a spaghetti or a linguine noodle, try a little couscous instead. Okay, so now that this pan, as soon as it comes up a little bit, <laughs> honey hey oh uh, thank you so much um hi marietta mm -hmm. hey baby thank you so much for being here so while my pan is getting hot i want to remind you to share the video right no right now okay and if you're watching on uh sugar pearls or carla renee hey and hey mm -hmm. let folks know we eating good in the hood go ahead and share the video right now the website is sugarpearlsonline.com youtube is sugar pearls and instagram is sugar pearls underscore online honey all right Hot is hot. Let's add some onions and garlic. Let's put those asparagus tips in there. A few more onions. Mmm. Oh, the salad is going to be amazing. So this is a not your traditional salad. It's um. It's not going to have any lettuce or anything like that in there. But I was craving hot patty cake. <laughs> I was craving seafood and I was craving pasta. But honey, the way my stomach set up, child, you know, I, I got to cut back on the pasta where I can. Oh, that garlic smells so freaking good. Okay. Um, give that a toss to the veggies. All I'm adding is a little nature seasoning, chat. We ain't doing too much, okay? Let's sugar pearls, folks. Oh, see, mm. oh, yeah. All right, now you don't need to cook them to death, okay? This is going in your salad, <laughs> right? Even though your salad didn't have any lettuce, um, y'all know, I did the oxtails for you last week, and I think I had a steak, like, the week before. So I was really like, girl, you get your life together. Like, you can't keep doing this red meat back and forth, back, 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 back. You got to. So I was like, okay. This weekend for sure, we just, we doing seafood. Okay, so that's what we got here. Oh. All right, so you got a nice bright green on that asparagus. It's almost done. Don't do too much. I'm going to give it a let it sweat in here for just a second <clears throat> excuse me then i'm going to pull it out put it on a little baking sheet just to reserve to the side and i'm going to show you um our couscous believe it or not we're ready to eat like it's time for dinner okay so while that's going oh beautiful Oh, beautiful. Okay. Asparagus, shallots, garlic, green onion. All right. Let me get that on my pan. Boom. Now to this. All we want to do is just like that, boom. Get that seafood on in there. Now. Uh, I think I 
did too much at one time. That's okay. Turn it up because I don't want it to crowd and you know get too much water in it. So little nature seasoning on that. And my favorite for seafood, I know it's a fruit seasoning, but for seafood, honey, I use it on my salmon, I use it on everything. But when I'm seasoning seafood, I put this um, fruit seasoning, this tagine, in there, and it, <laughs> it gives you the lemony, limey kick right there, like that. Mm -hmm. All right, turn that up. Don't turn it, just crank it up. Get a little olive oil in there, okay? Back to you. Hey, sugar. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in to Sugar Bro Studio Kitchen Live. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much, honey. Share the video. Share it, share it, share it. Great things are happening. So uh, Sugar Girls is on the move. We're in Garden Spices Magazine. Oh, there is so much good that is happening. And there's more to come. So you make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you're tuned into Paige. Make sure that while you're watching now, you go ahead over to my business page, Sugar Girls. S-U-G-A-R-P-E-A-R-L apostrophe S right here on Facebook. Click like, like the page, y'all. Like the page. There's content on there too. All right. So I need you to make sure you tune in. Okay. So we're not gonna cook this seafood to death either. Get it in there. You wanna give it about three minutes or so on each side. Okay. a little bit of tagine on this side. Now, this tagine, this fruit seasoning, for those of you that are watching, Dad, there's no salt in this, okay? It's just, it's like lemon, lime, like citrus flavor, okay? So it's not salt, right? But I want that nice, light kind of citrusy flavor, all right? Turn that off. Everything has turned opaque. It's done. All right, stop cooking your seafood to death. Stop cooking it to death. Y'all ready? I'm telling you, this is one of those. Dinner in a pinch make you think that I was working my heart out in the kitchen. Mm -mm, not really. No, but I want you to thank you. Okay? So this is your couscous. Couscous. Look at that. It looks like rice, right? It's pasta. Pasta. I know. So once it does this, the only thing you want to do is fluff it. Fluff it with a fork. All right. And to this, I'm going to add a little salt, pink salt, not too salty. There we go. When I tell you all of that water, it's only a cup of water, but uh, when you leave that couscous covered, it cooks up so nicely. Let me make sure it's got enough salt, honey. Mmm, mmm, great, 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 great. Okay, now that is super duper plain, no flavor to it except for the little salt I added. Nothing. Imagine just imagine like cooked pasta, no flavor. Okay, that's what it is, <laughs> honey. But wait until sugar pearls hit it with the treatment. Okay. So you got your seafood. Typically, I would like for this to cool off a little bit before I go ahead and start to um, assemble my salad. So just pretend that we've had this cooling off. All right. So to the, oh man, I forgot to add my peppers. 
I wanted to get that smoky in there. Let me give that a, a little set, okay? So I put my um, ancho chili in there just to give me a little bit of... Okay, I'm a little smoky. And I want it to soften a little bit, okay? So if I had <laughs> put it in there, I'm going to just leave it in there so that it softens a little. That's all I did. That's all I did. Just put them in there. Okay? Uh, so in your bowl, uh, like I said, you are going to typically eat this um, when it's kind of cooled so this is actually a great i know i'm i'm jumping ahead of myself by several seasons but this is a nice little summertime on the patio with the fire pit going type of salads okay all right so we've got the seafood let's go ahead and dump that in there oh gosh <laughs> your greens, your asparagus, and your onions, and your garlic, honey. Get it in there, a couple of good spoonfuls. Throw some tomatoes in there, honey, like that. Lemon zest, yes, lemon zest. So this is the zest of one lemon, okay, one lemon. Now, when you're doing your lemon, like I always say, make sure you only get the yellow and you're not scraping the white meat because that'll be nasty. Okay, so it's, you should just be getting the yellow. So go ahead and put that in there. Yes. All right, this is, I'm going to get some raw, uncooked shallots and onions in there. And... This lemon, honey, with my, I had a whole thing. <laughs> ah, yes. Get that fresh lemon juice on there or lime, whatever your preference. Do a couple. Oh, this is going to be so good and so lemony and just, mmm, honey. What else I'm on here? <coughs> honey, did y'all see Coming to America? <laughs> I watched it uh, today, actually. You know, and y'all, um, I know I just changed the subjects real quick, but I, I was literally just watching it. And y'all give the movie a hard time. I'm talking about, oh my God, it was so corny. Do you remember the first coming to America? It it was mad corny and campy and goofy. And that's why we loved it. But I'm gonna tell you, this new coming to America, yeah, they stretched a lot by trying to like. Make sure they incorporated all of the original characters. You know, it was a stretch in some places. But for the most part, I enjoyed it. Like, it was still campy and goofy. But the wardrobe and, oh, God, all the, the it was the brown skin for me. All the bronzing and the brown skinnedness of it all. Honey. It was, it was, I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was aesthetically beautiful. I don't think anybody was looking for, you know, Oscar worthy acting or anything. That's not what we got in the first one. Okay. So y'all, y'all calm down. All right. It, it was fun for what it was. It, it served its purpose. Okay. It served its purpose. All right. So this is what you've got so far. Okay. Can you see? That's your salad. That's your salad. And ain't nothing but some seafood and veggies and goodness. Now, something else I want to put in here. 
artichoke hearts. I know. <laughs> I'm going to just take a few of them, honey, and just rough chop. Just a rough one. Throw it in there. Just like that. I love it when food is not complicated. Like, it's Friday night. Who wants to be over a stove all night? You can, but you don't want to. Probably. Hit it with a little olive. Did I? Yeah, just a little oil. Just to kind of help everything stick together. And to this, shred you a little bit of... Um, parm on it honey actually you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna be good i'm, I'm gonna do feta put some feta on there crumble it on in this is actually gorgeous oh my gosh look this honey that's your salad Oh, it smells so good. The lemon, the zest, the garlic. All right. Seafood salad for one coming up. <laughs> Y'all, this was under 30 minutes. Under $30. Okay. I didn't use all of it, but this is meal for two. Boom. Hit him with that. That. Make him go, what? Like you've been preparing for this all day. Honey, this is your seafood salad. Couscous. Shoot. I'm not done. This is not it, y'all. That's why I did the couscous. Oh, girl, get it together. Y'all, just, just work with me. So let's get the couscous in there. We're not putting the, all of it in there. I'm doing a little under half of that. And you're just going to stir it in. Because remember, that couscous didn't have any flavor. We just added a little bit of salt, yeah. And now, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Honey, now do it. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh, I'll clean up the presentation tomorrow, honey. But this sugar pearls, Carla Renee, yes. Let's eat. Let's eat, honey. Let's eat. <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to eat all afternoon. Mm. This is just a light little seafood salad at home on a Friday night for you and Bay for under $25 from Aldi. You're welcome. Oh, Lord, thank you for my friends and them coming by, spending time with me. I hope y'all make this recipe. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Lemony, garlicky goodness. The pop, mm. <laughs> sorry, the pop of tomato. <laughs> Make mouth happy. Mm -hmm. And you got those huge pieces of jumbo. Look at that jumbo scallop. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Honey. 
You don't have to break the bank to eat good in the hood. Mm -mm. You really don't. Ooh, that pepper. Perfect. I just got a little taste of it. It was not hot. Um, but it does have a little smokiness to it, which is good. I like it. Mmm. Oh, honey. Make it. Make it at some point. Mm. Mm -hmm. The asparagus, everything, saute just right. Don't overdo it. When you do your seafood, especially in a pan like that, and you're just sauteing three to four minutes, okay? Once it was added to the bowl with all the other hot stuff, then I just, it just kind of continues to steam through. Can you make it with chicken? Absolutely. Oh my God, this would be great as a chicken dish. Substitute your um, shrimp and scallops from little bite-sized pieces of um, chicken breast. You can do that ahead of time. Save time, honey, and save money. And keep on eating good in the hood. Y'all, thank you so much. Um, I got to give a special shout out um, to all of you, all of my friends and family that have been supportive of this journey um, that I've been on. Um, for my friends who understand why I, I choose not to go out with y'all on Friday nights, it's because I got to be here. And I try to be consistent about that as much as I possibly can. So, um, thank you. Thank you so, so much. I don't take it for granted, um, your support. And every time y'all say sugar pearls, every time you put it out there, um, it's like a dream. It's like a dream coming true. It really is. So, um, I'm grateful. I'm thankful for all the things, um, all the doors that are opening. Um, and it's because and consistency. I am not the best cook. I'm not. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like the way that turned out. I, I'm always, I'm my worst critic. Trust me. You, th There's very little you can say to, to shake me, especially if I've already said it to myself. Um, so when I get to share what I consider in my heart with you, it's um, so important to me, and I appreciate this outlet um, because it it really just is therapy. It really is. It, it wasn't supposed to be absolutely cute, um, but we try to make it cute. We don't we don't always want to look like what we've been through. So, thank you for rocking with me. Uh, continue to be a light wherever you are. Support, support, support. It's enough of this to go around for all of us. And before I leave, I gotta say this. Dalen Cooper, Little Miss, Little Miss Dalen Cooper, mm, Vanita's baby girl. Hey, Dalen. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, Dalen Cooper is a little star in the making and she is working her acting chops. Uh, when you see her on the screen, honey, remember that name, Dalen, coming to a screen near you. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank you for being here, spending your time. 
and uh, allowing me just to be my crazy, goofy self. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch Coming to America. I thought it was pretty good. And I love the costumes. Um, so the wardrobes. Um, oh, God, just absolutely gorgeous. Go watch it, honey. All right. This, this ain't no Oscar-type movie. But it is a good feel-good movie. So I hope that uh, when you watch it, it makes you feel good. We're being so critical of everything all the darn time. My gosh. We ain't COVID, child. All right. Until next time, know that I love you, boo. I love you. I sure love to. And I hope you love me back.